Keeping the legacy of the Black Panther Party alive is very important. Bill Jennings, who lives in Curtis Park, uses this personal archive room to tell the story of the Black Panther Party. And I take it very serious. During the Black Power era, Jennings says he joined the revolutionary organization because... The Black Panther Party uh, laid out a guideline of how to organize in the community. During that time, 65 and 66, there was a lot of civil rights activity going on. In America, uh, black people are uh, treated very much as uh, the Vietnamese people or any other colonized people because we're used, we're brutalized. Activist Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale founded the Black Panthers on October 15, 1966 to protect black people from police brutality. So that's what the Black Panther Party started patrolling police, right? And that was, and we would follow police to make sure they wouldn't beat and brutalize people. The Negroes themselves should take whatever steps necessary to defend themselves. Like civil rights leader Malcolm X, the Black Panthers believed that nonviolent protests could not truly liberate black people in the U.S. We always believed in the principle of Malcolm X is self-defense. The Black Panther Party came into the national spotlight on May 2nd, 1967. I have these Black Panthers up here with guns on the second floor. Sale led a group of fully armed Black Panthers into the California State Capitol to protest against the Mufford Bill. It prohibited the carrying of a loaded firearm in public or in a vehicle. Black Panthers quickly grew in popularity. We had like, 48 chapters in 30 major cities. In 1968, Charles Bronson, who worked as a postman, founded the Sacramento chapter of the Black Panthers. He opened the office on 35th Street near McClatchy Park in Oak Park. We later sent him to Washington, D.C. to open up an office there. When he came back, he was Bobby Seale's personal aide. In black communities, including Oak Park, Panthers provided food, clothing, transportation, health clinics, legal aid, and so much more. One of the most successful programs was the free breakfast for school children. That embarrassed the government because they said we were thugs, we were terrorists. The Panthers also started a liberation school at the Oak Park office to teach children black history. They had a community newspaper too, highlighting the Panthers' beliefs. We want full employment for our people. You know, we want decent education. Even though the Sacramento chapter grew to more than 50 members, it eventually closed because... The office was destroyed. Law enforcement raided the building on Father's Day in 1969. They shot up the Panther office, they tear gassed it up, and they destroyed all the food that we had for the breakfast program. A Black Panther flag still flies in Oak Park. When people see that flag, it brings a great deal of pride. Jordan McGowan is the founder of Neighbor Program. I'm gonna scoot you in, okay? And says the nonprofit is modeled after the Black Panther Party, um, looking to carry on that legacy and tradition of African resistance. For McGowan, the decision is personal. My father, when he came home from Vietnam as a veteran, was recruited into the Black Panther Party or to be associated with them in some capacity. McGowan opened the Shakur Center on 4th Avenue to act as a place for us to be and not have to worry about assimilation. McGowan uses the center to host community services offered through Neighbor Program. We give out groceries to the community. We have a free health and wellness clinic. We also have a free legal clinic. We have a newspaper. We have community education classes. Neighbor Program also has a full-time community homeschool. Malcolm X Academy is a transitional kindergarten through eighth grade school. I really enjoy that my son gets to learn how to give back to the community. Awesome. Mariah Rembert Mosby says she enrolled her children into the academy to learn more about black people, history, and culture. That includes the Black Panthers' legacy. I like the values and the core values that, you know, the Black Panther Party has to offer. Uh, the Black Panther Party is simply the vanguard of the revolution. The Panthers, again, represent dignity. They represent pride. They represent the history of who we are as Africans, African resistance. They demonstrate a love, an undying love for their people and that's who the Panthers are to us. So keeping that legacy alive, it's also about survival. 
and truthfully, how do we survive together?